One, because he <laughs> forgot to record, and then second, because he forgot to unmute us. Not this time. I, I got the mute button this time, so don't worry. Perfect. All right, everybody, welcome back for another episode of Dried Blood, our after-action report. After D20 deathmatch, this time you saw Sonazar against the Shadow of the Arbiter, played by me. It was an impressive performance, I have to say. I, I really knocked it out of the fucking park, I think. What do you guys think? you think I did good? I think I did good. I think... I think the spotlight on you would make you disappear. You are a shadow after all. So let's move it over to Nelstar and Sunazar. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about knocking it out of the park, that's what I did with your character's head at the end of the match. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> and the burn of eating the candy in front of his face. <laughs> Okay, so I will say this. I can't rough. take full credit for that. That was M Mutant Noodles uh, in chat's idea. And I was like, you know what? We have to do that because I'm pretty sure neither of them looked at chat and saw it. So I was like, okay, yeah, we have to do this. Yes. Hey, I, but that's what, like, having chat there and having everyone cheer and scream and mm -hmm. give suggestions, like, take them. Like, those yeah. are yeah. as if they were a live audience. If they so move you and come up with something brilliant and you want it, go for it. Eat the candy. All right. Dude, I love I love I love that because like I was like gonna play it up like I've never had a birthday and like <laughs> see if you'd give me a piece of candy and then you know like make you pay for it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that was uh, cool. The the giant thing like blew my mind too. Like ah, was, yeah. I was so excited about that map, dude. Uh, that's uh, so most of the maps we've been using since we've launched have come from animated dungeon maps on mm -hmm. on Patreon. So we subbed to them. They're I think animated maps. Patreon.com slash animated maps. If you guys mm -hmm. want to check them out, but that hand of God one is so cool. And I'm like, man, when are we ever gonna get to use it? And then I found found this map that was the the mountaintop, and mm -hmm. it had some of the similar like design elements. And I was like, oh, it fits together so well. We're yeah. using it. Yeah, I gotta ask. For Sunazar, did you already have it planned that he was afraid of heights, or did you just see this? You're like, yeah, this is this is gonna make him uncomfortable. I need to add this as part of his story. That was 100 off the cuff. I was I just like, it. yeah, because uh, it's a, it's a it's a rolling joke between me and some friends. Uh, there's a pretty tall bridge, for, uh, basically, uh, if you're going from my hometown to Lake Charles, Louisiana, there's a pretty tall bridge to get to the casinos. And it's always a joke that someone uh, pops out like, uh, is now a bad time to mention I'm afraid of heights at the top. So I was like, oh, this is perfect, perfect. So I love it. now he now it's a part of Sinazar's life. He is now afraid of heights no, forever. I have to. I think I it's a good balance. I have to ask mm -hmm. here uh, on the official show after after the action. You mentioned something about being a statue. I think our I think our <laughs> folks at home would like to know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> so okay. Just so casually Sinazar drops a... into episode. I'm a statue, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Sinazar has this like pretty epic background, obviously, like by the tail of his sword and, and the fact that it, it embodies the soul of his friend that was his powerful wizard. Um, and uh, yeah, so in their adventures, they saved a couple cities uh, from being destroyed by either demons or goblins or trolls, you name it. Um, so there's a couple cities where there are actually statues erected of Sinazar and his wizard friend. Um, so that's just part of the backstory of, of Sinazar. So whenever he said it, I was like that, what? Okay. Yeah, no, he is actually a statue. You just have to travel <laughs> to a city to see it. You're the, you're the Ronald McDonald that I picked up and animated <laughs> uh, sitting on the bench. You know, I was like, Hey, this is a statue outside Ruby Tuesday. I think I'm just gonna, you know, uh, yeah, you look good enough. Him. Yeah. You're a statue. What, what it doesn't is, matter. The statue, is it made out of like really like marble or mm -hmm. just granite or is this like hey some kid with clay gave it his best shot with play-doh and now you're mismatched that kind of <laughs> melts a little bit in the sun I'm not gonna lie that's a little bit deeper of a thought on the statue thing <laughs> than i had but now that you mention it there's one made of bronze cast okay. bronze and then there's one made of marble nice asking nice. the Options. deep questions that's why we're here this yeah. is that. This is a get in, get in mind of the competitor, you know? Like, where are we at? If you're going to have a backstory, you're going to have a full detailed backstory. <laughs> Who is your is mother? A legend. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know, actually. Oh, oh. oh wow. yeah, yeah. And how does that, is how that, does that a real make backstory you feel? or is that a cop out? <laughs> no, no, that is a real backstory. So Sunazar's got this cool backstory about like he is like the prototypical like street urchin, doesn't know who he was. He was an orphan, um, became friends with with an old man. And that was the wizard. And uh -huh. like there's a lot to it. So it's pretty Aww. cool. That actually yeah. sounds really sweet. Yeah. Until the old man dies and gets embodied in his sword. Yeah, you That's know, awesome. friends forever. <laughs> no. So. All right. Cool. Well, any, uh, I have to, I have to ask as we always do kind of, as we wrap up, 
any parting words from our champion Son of Zor to the acolytes or from Nelstar to the fans? Now this was dope. Uh, first of all, anyone that watched and listened, like this was really cool. It was really fun. Um, we kind of talked about it there at the end. Like this was a cool way to one kind of flesh out who Sunazar is, but also like have a blast. And f like, first of all, I haven't seen her talk to y'all in over a year. So it's, yeah. it, was, it was cool to, 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 <laughs> to do that. Um, to everyone else, watch out. Sunazar is never going to be stopped. You uh, if you want to have a battle of champions, sign Sunazar up because he is ready to kick everyone's ass. I think, That's right. I think we can make write down that the name happen. of this blood hunter. <laughs> write it down. Write it down. These are words. Yeah. We'll see if we can hold him up. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next episode of D20 Deathmatch and the next dry blood.